This is sassafras, and sassafras usually has these three different shaped leaves on it somewhere. So the mitten. So there's the glove. No, here's this one. And here's the leaf. It has three different leaf shapes. Um, this one? Did you get this one? This is the one that's the mint This is like the, the mint shape. So what are we using sassafras for, anybody? Everything. Chicken and jambalaya. Okay, so dried sassafras leaves are filet from filet gumbo. It's really calming, I think. Calming? It's considered the root, okay, so we... The, the, okay, so the leaf is calming, the root is stimulating. So the root is hot, it's sweet, it's very cinnamony, and it's stimulating. And it's the root bark that is the strongest. It's very oily. It's used for spring cleanse, used for low blood pressure, it was used for high blood pressure. It was used to get the blood moving in to try to equalize the pressure um, during the spring. It's used to increase um, endurance. Uh, to improve um, mental capacity. You know, the old folks use it because you get the blood to your brain, you yeah, think right. better. Like yeah, that's, that was, now this is like traditional use. Um, saffron is the oil that's determined to be carcinogenic. And so you never do, never do, ever, ever, never do tincture really? of sassafras because it extracts the saffron. Now whether it's carcinogenic or not is debatable, but it is extracted by alcohol. Not it's not water soluble. So it doesn't come out in the tea. In the same, you know, you might get a tiny, tiny amount in the tea, not much. So it's water soluble. It's in your list of herbals. Yeah. So you don't want me to make a tincture of it. No. You can no. make a glycerin. Right? You can make, well, oh, no, I don't mean to say make a glycerin, but you can bring some and make a tea. Okay. I'm so glad we had this walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Not a tincture. laughs> yeah, I need to write that on the list. No tinctures. Yeah. Wait, so no glycerin? Well, it, glycerin can bring up the fats, oh, okay. which is this oil base. Now, the reason I have trouble with this, um, experiment they did that said saffron is carcinogenic is because they separated it out uh, and they injected this poor little rat with 400 times his body weight oh, and saffron. Like really I mean dry. seriously. Right. And he gave him liver cancer. Like duh. Right. <laughs> yeah there is saffron in a lot of other herbs. It's very yeah. um, malt. It's just very like it's kind of slimy. In the mouth, very easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mucilogenic. Yeah, mucilogenous. He's cleaning up. So I am with a with a traditional preparation of a decoction. I am not really worried about it. It's also very stimulating. And sassafras and sarsaparilla or green bar were often used together to stimulate the body and to make root beer. It's what root beer is made out of forever was sassafras and yeah the green briar root which is that is what's the latin on that smilax is, smilax yeah yeah and this is why you know root beer was so popular it was not as strong as a cup of coffee but it's definitely stimulating it'll make your heart race it'll give you energy it'll pick you up and get you going mm. to do smilax and sassafras together I like sassafras. We can make tea. Um, any questions on sassafras? And I'm looking forward to hearing your report and what you find and all that when you do okay. it. Okay. But no tincture. But no tincture. Okay. When do you harvest the smilax root? Typically. Um, any any time because you know it's up all the time. But you're gonna, you know, preferably probably in here probably in the next three or four weeks because it's already flowered. Okay. No, and so the energy's gone back down. And do you dry it? Well, that's the green dryer that you're talking about? 